and welcome to the Josh and Ashley Show. Thank you so very much for being our guest today. You are our guest. That's right. We don't have special guests today. You're the guest, and we're certainly glad that you are with us. Somebody would say, well, isn't the Lord the guest? No, he's not the guest because he's always with us. That's and right. And so uh, he, a guest is someone who just shows up <laughs> uh, when they're called upon. Mm -hmm. uh, but our Lord is always with us, and he's here right now. And so we thank him for that, and we thank you for being with us. Thank you, Ashley, for being here today. Well, well. you're very welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm glad to be here, too. I'm glad you're here, too. Oh, thank you. You're welcome about that as well. I know I make your life so much better you do. when I'm with you. That is 100% Because you make my correct. life so much better when you're with me. <laughs> Uh, since we never depart from each other, this we're, is true. we're together almost all the time. We're kind of we? a package deal. We're a package deal. Yes. You get Josh, you get Ashley, you get Ashley, you get Josh. That's right. And uh, that's the way it works. But again, thank you so much for uh, being a part today. We're going to do our best to sing some songs for you that encourage you and lift you up and try to help you along life's journey. In the meantime, uh, go to our website, joshandashleyfranks.com, and let us hear from you all the information that you need you can find on our website, www.joshandashleyfranks.com. Let's sing for them today. You ready? I'm ready. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Ah, oh, glory to his name. Let's sing. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where for cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. There to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to his name. so sweetly abides within for there at the cross where he took he in glory to his name and glory to his name glory to his name there to my heart was the blood of life And sweet, cast thy poor soul at the Savior's feet, who belongs in today and be made of thee, and glory to his name, and glory to his name, glory to his name, there to my heart was the blood of i 
are blessed. Yes, we are. Every day that we live, <laughs> we are truly Amen. blessed. You know, uh, we heard a wonderful sermon just a few weeks ago uh, from a gentleman who was visiting our church, and he preached uh, out of the book of Psalm, chapter 34, and he said so many wonderful things, and I'll read the scripture, sure. and then uh, and then you can kind of meditate a little bit and, <laughs> and share a little bit. Okay. Uh, a kind of, and I'll, I'll share with you, of course, sure. you know I will, uh, but I, I just thought this would be good to share here mm -hmm. today. It's Psalm 34, it's a Psalm of David, and uh, he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall uh, continually be in my mouth, verse 2, and my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. The poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. Isn't that good? That's good. Now let me read verse 1 again. I will, David said, bless the Lord at all times. Mm -hmm. Where you want to go? Start right there. <laughs> I will. I will. I will. You got to make a decision. That's right. To to bless the Lord at all times. All times. Wherever you are in your mm -hmm. life. At. That word at is a very important word because sometimes in life we are at good places. Sometimes we are at bad places. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we are at a uh, 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 a pleasant season, and sometimes we are at a non-pleasant right. season. But he said in Ecclesiastes, there is a time for everything. Right. Uh, there's a time to die. There's a time to live. There's a time to mourn. There's a time to laugh. There's a time for this. There's a time for that. And he goes all through in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and he tells us uh, that in everything there is a season. So I will bless the Lord, who I bless the Lord. Of course, we know that. Because there is none other to be blessed, to, that is, deserves to be blessed uh, at whatever season we are in, all times. Mm -hmm. So whether we're in a good season or a bad season, all times means we are to bless the Lord. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Now, I realize today... Uh, that that sometimes can be difficult Amen. because there are times in our you're not doing the talking. I'm just I feel like I'm doing all the talking. Here. Yes, sir. And <laughs> I, but I, I'm let me say this and then Go I, I'm going to let you talk. That's all right. I promise I will. His praise shall continually be in my mouth, and that sometimes is difficult because uh, we seem to want to use our mouth to grumble and gripe and complain about the seasons of life that aren't so well. And when the seasons of life are so well, it seems like that we, we forget how we got to those good seasons right. in our life. But he said, his praise shall, no matter what season I'm in, no matter what, what, what comes my way, good or bad, continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Now, that brings us to the next place. Mm -hmm. Sometimes my praise and my worship will help you get to where you need to be and get you to the other side. Amen. My praise and my worship sometimes uh, can help the next person that may be struggling. If they see that I'm worshiping and I'm praising God in the midst of my situation, yeah. in the midst of my struggles and trials, then hopefully it will encourage somebody else to help them Amen. to see that I'm worshiping. You better talk before I <laughs> preach in here today. Amen. I heard somebody say it like this once. Other Christians yeah. need to see you struggle well. Yeah. 
they need to see us praise through our troubles, yes. praise through our struggle. Um, and you never know. Sometimes your struggles aren't about you. They're about somebody else That's true. seeing you struggle well. That's true. Um, I love this psalm. It's one of my favorite scriptures for a few reasons. Most people don't know this because we read the Bible in English, right? Yeah. <laughs> but when this psalm was written, it's actually what they call an acrostic psalm, uh -huh. which means it was written in alphabetical order. It's a beautiful piece of literature. Every line of this psalm in the original text in Hebrew starts with the next letter of the alphabet. Yeah. And so it, it that goes to tell me that somebody, David, spent a lot of time on this piece of work, that it's beautiful. And so he must have been in a really great place in his life when he wrote it, yes, right? Because yes. he, he had time to sit down and think about words that were in alphabetical order. But at yes. the, the top of that psalm, it tells you, a lot of times the psalms will tell you when they were written. Uh-huh. And this one tells you that this is a Psalm of David, and he wrote this about the time when he changed his behavior before the people, and he basically acted like he was crazy so that they would let him go. Yep. Right. When, when he was in enemy territory, he, he, it, the, the Bible talks about that when he let his spit hang down and he acted absolutely crazy so they would let him go. Right. And um, I think that that is, a, is an amazing, I can imagine when David was, hmm was um, foaming at the mouth in front of these enemies yeah. that he wasn't thinking praises in alphabetical order. Right. <laughs> and he wasn't able to say all, all of that like this. But, but I do believe in verse number four, this is what mm -hmm. he would have been doing. I sought the yes. Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried right. and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. Amen. It's a beautiful psalm, but it didn't come from a beautiful time in his life. Yeah. But that's what God does. And there's so much more in that psalm, but we don't have time to Amen. preach and talk about it all day. <laughs> but here's what Amen. we do know. We're blessed. That's right. We're blessed going in. We're blessed going out. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. Amen. I like to remind people of their blessings because too often we forget how good God is Amen. and how good he's been to us even through the hardships of life. That's right. And so we just throw up our hands on good days. We throw up our hands on bad days. And we just say, Lord, we're blessed. We're just as blessed right. on the rainy days as we are on sunny days. We're just as blessed when the thunder and the lightning is flashing than we are than the days that the rainbow is shining. We are blessed people. Amen. Blessed and highly favored. Amen. Amen? That's right. Amen. Let's sing. Hallelujah. <laughs> When abundance fell like rain I've had to face some deserts I've known my share of pain And all of it has made me Who I'm supposed to be Every trial has shaped me And lets me see I've been just as blessed shadows as I've been by the light just as blessed when times were hardest as when everything was right so if his goodness falls upon me if I face life's greatest test I'll lift my hands and praise him cause I've been just as blessed this life was perfect, would I cling to him so tight? Or find his word so faithful to get me through the night? Shall I take his mercies and harder things refuse? No, faith is what sustains me, so faith is what I I've been just as blessed by the shadows as I've been by the light. 
just as blessed when times were hardest as when everything was right so if his goodness falls upon me if i face life's greatest test i'll lift my hands and pray And praise Him. Cause I've been just as What a great day we've had here on the Josh and Ashley Show. Thank you again for being with us. Let us hear from you. Uh, go to our website, joshandashleyfranks.com, and there you can find all that you're looking for on our website. Our itinerary is there. You can sign up for our email list. You can see who's going to be on the Josh and Ashley Show. You can also find more information about our church. So many of you watch weekly from our online live services, Sunday morning, Sunday night, and even Wednesday night. And you can find that information there. You can purchase product. Our latest recording is there. It's called Live in the Land of Grace. Ashley and I and our daughter Priscilla, and we had a wonderful time there in the 
home place of Elvis Presley, Graceland and Memphis, Tennessee. We have that live recording. It's a DVD and a CD. It just was released not long ago. And then uh, our family recording is there. Ashley has a solo recording and so, so much more. Check all that out again at joshandashleyfranks.com. While you're there, you can click on the little tabs that'll take you to Facebook and Twitter and all of those social media sites. And that keeps you up to date daily, right? Did I get it right? Did I say it wrong? It's not Twitter anymore. What is it? It's called X now. Well, see, <laughs> tick-a-talk and whatever it yes. is. Go to the inner web and find yes. it, friends. That's all I can tell you. And uh, you can see it all there, joshandashleyfranks.com. Mm -hmm. Right. Whatever you're looking for is, I believe, on our website. True. Well, we better go. I'm going to get it. in trouble if I keep talking. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, evidently. I think I do, but evidently I don't. That's okay. It's well, anyway, what I'm here for. What I do know is the Lord's been good today, and uh, you've sang good today, and we've had a good day. That's what I do know. And uh, we hope to see you again next time here on the Josh and Ashley Show. Until then... Keep looking up, feed your face, starve your doubts to death, friends. Our Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And what he did yesterday, he'll do today if you just keep on believing. We love you. I've learned a lot of lessons yeah. in some trying times. But I've found my Lord is faithful and that he always supplies. So why should I ever worry? Because he is God and he is good. He's worthy.